Now, a hospital in Canada has carried out what is believed to be a medical first. Doctors there performed a double lung transplant. Well, nothing new about that, of course, but the organs were delivered to the hospital by a drone. The BBC's Tim Ullman has the story. Alain Hodak is 63 years old. Two years ago, he was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis, a lung disease that made his life a misery. It was just close to unbearable of having no air. Doctors told him he needed a transplant. When it comes to this kind of operation, every second counts. So this was how the donated organs would be transported to the hospital. A specially built drone travelling across the city with the most precious cargo imaginable. The clock was ticking, the journey beginning at the Toronto Western Hospital. In a trip that lasted just six minutes, the drone travelled one and a half kilometres to the Toronto General Hospital, where the medical team were waiting. If you could fly a drone in the city, then you can fly a drone anywhere. Right? And so that was what we set out to do here, to prove that concept. A life-saving, life-changing operation went ahead without a hitch. To be part of the future is kind of really, yeah. really exciting and it's a, an, an honour for me. I couldn't believe that this was happening because I was so afraid to lose him. The team behind the drone believe this could revolutionise organ delivery. Their next step, testing bigger drones that can travel much further. As for Alan, he's recovering well, and he's promised to take care of his new lungs. Tim Allman, BBC News.